I am 33 years old now. I was 27 when I was uh, diagnosed um, with ovarian cancer. First emotion you go through is um, uh, an emotion of shock. What happened is when I was at the hospital, this was a Saturday night, um, they gave me the results of the tests to bring with me to a gynae oncologist, which I was going to see on the Monday. She was going to fit me into her schedule, didn't know when it was going to happen. So I ended up going home with the results of the CT scan and the transvaginal ultrasound um, in my hands. So of course the automatic thing you do is you type these things in in the internet, which I suggest to everybody never to do because uh, it will lead to um, very dire um, results. I think it really puts into perspective what's important in life um, and the things you probably take for granted every day. Um, and just having that respect for someone who has gone through such a trying time um, and such a difficult battle, you really sort of count your blessings that uh, you have your health and your family and things like that. And, really puts into perspective the things that aren't important in life and, and what is important. Well, Helen and I met in uh, the work world. We met in uh, one of the major uh, banks uh, downtown uh, here in Toronto and uh, basically it was love at first sight. We immediately communicated, we started uh, uh, being with each other and that's something I didn't believe in before. We just had such a great time with each other uh, this person made you feel so comfortable uh, that it was just a natural being in a relationship with her. And so we would do things, we liked the same things, even things that we had that were different, that we had different tastes and things. We were willing to adjust with each other or find out about uh, what the other person liked. Uh, we spent a lifetime together and we never had a bad word between us. It was just very loving. Love has been the most important thing um, in this whole journey. Um, being able to, you know, really feel the love of all of the people that I love uh, around me and surround me during uh, really very, very hard and difficult times um, has been, uh, I, I can't even really describe it in words. It's been so impactful. Um, and it has been like the lifeline that has held me, um, held me. Um, also being able to, you know, when you're ill and you're uh, not well, um, it's been important for me to really f not focus on that, but focus on continuing to live. And for me, um, living is about loving. It's about being able to give that love uh, to folks in your life, my, my family, my friends, my partner, who is my heart. and. Um, and that's what's uh, sustained me throughout this. Um, and hopefully that's what I leave when I leave, when, when this journey ends for me. It's that love that, um, that I think I leave behind, I hope, with the people who um, have been important to me and the people who, I, who I've touched and who have touched me. And I, I'll take that with me when I go as well. Loving Cindy is not about her illness for me. Um, I loved her before the illness, and so the illness is just one other part of the journey that our relationship is on from my perspective. And uh, I think what has made it possible to live with this illness has been two things. One is herself. Um, and who she is as a human being, I think both to myself and everyone around her who loves her. It's been the way that she is living with her illness. It's, it's very hard when she sets that example for us uh, not to be able to live up to it. But also I think that the illness has, looking at it in some ways as a gift, for certain it's taught me to live in the moment.